Okay, well, the, the happiest you, inadvertently, you might have guessed, is also going to be the healthiest you. And when I mean like the healthiest you, I don't mean like um, the healthiest you used to be or the healthiest you've, you were in the past or the healthiest you've been. I mean healthier than that. That's what, that's what the healthiest means. It means a healthier version than you've ever been before. Now, that's the happiest. Because, and, the, and the reason I say this, forgive me, okay? If you've, let me explain my thinking here because it is wrong in certain ways, but I want to explain the way that I'm currently thinking. It's going to be... The one where your hormones are balanced. Now, when you are healthy, as in leaning up, your metabolism, your muscles, your skeleton, everything is, is running hot. You have a hot, high metabolism and you're burning fat in somewhat of a caloric deficit. That is when your hormones are gonna be the most balanced in your body, which is the most of the mass. From the neck up is a little bit of mass. From the neck down, there's more connections of the nervous system than there are connections from the nervous system from the neck up. So a lot of people like to think the brain stops in the neck. The brain shoots down the spinal cord. It wraps around the viscera and branches out into organs and muscle tissues. There's more connections from the neck down than there are from the neck up. Okay, so the happiest you is going to be the best balanced, healthiest you. It's very hard to, to, be, to, to be not happy when you're healthy and strong, especially healthy and stronger than you've ever been. That's when like, you know, you know, money can't buy your, buy you happiness or money can't buy you health. You know, you can't buy certain things. You have to work to attain, to achieve, and to hopefully educate yourself so that you can, can keep that or as much of it when you start to have to dream off and go back to reality and do work, you know, continue your work and maybe grow over in this area of your life while trying to keep what you've learned in the health and, and eating and diet and exercise physiology while keeping that on the back burner now so you're trying to not lose too much ground. All of this is, is education, but doing. You have to physically, you have to do the work. You gotta walk, you're walking around with the trophy you deserve. That's how that works. You are walking around, looking how you feel. If you've been eating donuts, you look like a donut. Congratulations. Maybe you didn't want it, but you wanted a donut. Can't hide that one. So that's just how that works. Um, I hope that gives some sort of an in, inside light. Uh, you should probably go do some sort of a physical challenge and hit that press against that tension, that resistance that life has to offer you since you're here today, you're alive today, you have the chance to do it today. Find that mental wall because tonight afterwards, that self-esteem will be increased that self-worth will be increased, knowing that you did something that you didn't want to do, but you did it anyways. Peace.